Hi everyone, this is Dan Ozaki with Alliance Group and today I wanted to talk about 401k plans versus the Index Universal Life Plan as a retirement strategy. Let's talk about 401k plans for a second. If you have a 401k plan and you've invested in the 401k plan in the last five years, chances are you probably lost a lot of money in your 401k plan. I've got clients that lost up to 80% of the principal balance on their 401k plan because the stock market actually has taken a dive and they've lost a lot of money. I want to talk about alternatives to the 401k plan that can safeguard your money, your retirement money. But I want to talk about 401k plans first of all. 401k plans basically is a retirement plan that your employer actually offers to you. Sometimes they give you an employee match, sometimes they don't. They take that money and they invest it in some sort of stock portfolio and they invest it in the stock market. So if the stock market loses money, so does your investment depending on what type of risk factor you've taken on your 401k plan. If you've taken very low risk, uh, you probably haven't lost a lot of money, but you probably haven't gained that much uh, interest either. If you've invested in high risk, uh, you've probably lost pretty much all of your principal in the last three to four years. With a 401k plan, they give you a tax deduction in the year you put the money in, the money grows, and then when you retire, you actually have to pay income tax on that money. The problem we feel is that we feel that income tax rates are going to increase over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And there's several reasons for it. Right now, national debt is $14 trillion. Who's going to have to pay that debt back? Us and our grandchildren. How? Through taxes. If you read your Social Security statement on the front page, it basically states that Social Security is going to run out of money by 2041. Who's going to have to try to cover that? Again, you and our children and grandchildren. The only way to actually do that and cover all these expenses and pay back the debt is to increase income taxes. Not only that, but baby boomers, 76 million of them, are retiring now in the next 20, 20 30 years, and that's going to cause less people in the workforce, and it's going to force the government to have to tax the rest of us that are working more money. So you can see that paying income taxes on your money on your 401k plan 20, 30 years from now is probably not a good thing because we're going to get hit with a higher income tax bracket. Let's talk about tax-free retirement. What we basically do is we have an index universal life policy, which is an insurance policy with a cash account. This cash account is not invested in the stock market, so it's not technically considered an investment. What happens is, is that the insurance company invests the money for you, and they basically invest the money in corporate and government bonds, which is a more secure type of investment. And then they invest about 15% of it in options. And what this allows the insurance company to do is it allows them to guarantee the clients that they cannot lose money in their cash value. Now, I've had a lot of debate on this because I had another video on YouTube. And the bottom line here is, of course, there's costs affiliated with life insurance. Life insurance costs money. But as far as the cash account is concerned, once the money is credited to your cash account, it cannot be lost. So when it's, it's credited to the cash account, it can't be lost. And so that's why we say that it's a guaranteed account where you're not going to lose money. So they have minimum guarantees that if the S&P 500 or whatever index that they're using loses money that year, you're guaranteed a 1% or 2% return. If the stock market has an awesome year, they have caps on what you can earn, usually anywhere from 12 to 15 percent. So there's a range that they cap you out at 12 to 15 percent, and they give you a minimum guarantee of one or two percent. And so it's a secure type of investment. But the difference is, is that if you have a fixed account, it usually typically only earns one percent or less. The indexing allows you to get a higher return if the stock market does well, but it also protects your principal in case the stock market has a bad year, which gives you a minimum guarantee of one or two percent. Because we use after-tax dollars for this index universal life plan, and we take loans against the cash value at retirement, it becomes a tax-free vehicle. And the reason being is this. When you take loans against your cash value and your life insurance policy, you have to pay back those loans. So you have to pay back the loans with interest, and typically that's prime rate. But this is what helps out when you actually have to pay the loan back. When you have a loan and you take that loan against your cash value, it has to be paid back so it's not considered income. So at the end of the year, when you do your taxes, if you pulled out a $100,000 loan from your cash account, 
You can spend that money, but since you owe it back to the insurance company with interest, it's not considered income. So in that income tax year, you don't get hit with income taxes. So what happens is every single year at retirement, you will take a loan against your cash value and your life insurance policy. And when you finally pass away, may it be age 100 or all the way up, most of the time these policies go to age 120. When you pass away, what they do is they take the cash value in your life insurance policy, they pay back all the loans plus interest, and whatever's left over as far as the face amount, whatever cash value goes to your beneficiaries. So it's a way to achieve a tax-free retirement plan. The only other way to achieve that is through a Roth IRA. And there's caps on the Roth IRA, and the Roth IRA doesn't work as well as the Index Universal Life because at the time of retirement with a Roth IRA, in order to generate income, you have to withdraw money from your Roth IRA. With our Index Universal Life policy, you don't actually withdraw any money from the principal amount because you're taking loans against it. So that principal amount keeps earning what we call triple compound interest. So nine times out of 10, it will outperform a 401k plan and it does much better than a Roth IRA in most cases too. So this is basically the index universal life plan versus the 401k plan. Now, if you watch the news on MSNBC, they're talking about how 401k plans is, is a waste of time and a waste of money. Time Magazine has an article on 401k plan where the 401k is sinking into the water. John C. Bogle, which is a giant in the financial industry, he testified before the Senate Finance Committee that between 1980 and 2002, the average 401k had a return of only 2.7% net after fees. So they have things on the news all the time talking about hidden fees in the 401ks and so on and so forth. And basically people are getting shafted in retirement because of this 401k plan. Our plan is a life insurance based retirement cash value plan, guaranteed not to lose money, it's tax-free when you retire, and it leaves your assets, your, your life insurance to the next generation without having to go through probate, estate, or capital gains taxes. So it encompasses everything that you need in one plan, which you don't have to worry about at night if you're going to lose money. When you pass away, it transfers the wealth of the life insurance to your children without them having to have a tax consequence, and so it encompasses everything in one awesome plan. So what I suggest is get together with a life insurance agent that understands how this index universal life plan works and compare it to your 401k plan. I always say the bottom line here is, is that you ha if you have the knowledge and the choices, you need to make the choices. The choices you make today will determine how well you live in the future. Again, my name is Dan Ozaki. I appreciate your time. I'm with Alliance Group. Please get together with an agent. Thank you.